Dragon Ball Fighters is a game that rewards offensive play, which is why it's such a shame that the developers burden such popular characters with mechanics that leave them lacking in comparison to other members of the roster. In a recent video, we covered the top 5 most broken attacks in Dragon Ball Fighters, which got me thinking, among the cast, who has the worst move? So, my good friends, I turn to you for some quality community enlightenment, and in our discourse I was made privy to all things trash regarding this game's clear lack of favoritism towards every member of this list. A few of which even surprised me along the way. By the way, if you want to share your input on future videos, I always pull things on my community tab, which you can get by subscribing to this channel, and you can follow me over on Twitter, where I throw it to you almost every single day. So with the introduction in the rearview mirror, we find ourselves midway through season 3 of this iconic game. A perfect time to talk about which characters were cursed with the top 5 worst moves in Dragon Ball Fighters. Number 5, Android 17's Wall Bounce. Android 17 launched to potentially the lowest enthusiasm of any DLC before him, which is surprising, because pre-launch he was given one of the greatest developer showcases in this game's history. And wow, did he look incredible in the spotlight. Wow. The moment we watched his wall bounce, the community fell in love, and there was about a week where people lauded him as potentially broken before we truly ever got our hands on him. This is ironic, because it's precisely this mechanic that's pointed to as the worst addition of his toolset. Don't get me wrong, 17 is in a much stronger place than he was in Season 1 and 2 combined, but his wall bounce is still potentially one of the worst moves in the game. There's a few reasons for this, primarily because it's so incredibly telegraphable and punishable even in the least capable hands. And sure, it can nope. be cancelled into Key Blast to punish two H attempts, but even that option can be super dashed through and countered with minimal lab time. While 17 is incredibly fun and stylish, this move reeks of wasted potential. However, it still finds itself head and shoulders over the rest of this list. Number 4, Zamasu's Key Blast. In perhaps the opposite fashion of Android 17, Zamasu was actually fairly popular upon his release. While he paled in comparison to the outright star power of Vegeta Blue, he did have a sizable following and enjoyed high caliber reputation from the likes of popular YouTube channel JM Crofts and even Sonic Fox. Sonic Fox going on to win Evolution 2018 with the character against Goichi. Wow. Yet in Season 3, Zamasu finds himself as the subject of many video essays surrounding his shortcomings as a character. While he does offer players use of a fairly unique flight mechanic, he's unfortunately found himself the owner of potentially the worst key blast in the game. Unlike other contenders, say Blue Vegeta, whose key blast is often maligned for its wonkiness and abstract potential, Zamasu's standing 5S is absolutely Bruh. one of the worst moves in this game. It's less than ideal frequency aside, the singular projectile will completely whip over smaller opponents, a trait unique to Zamasu and one that's landed him right on this list. Sure, he has other ways to control the screen with the fairly competent God Slicer and the aforementioned flight mechanic. Because Key Blasts are such a fundamental part of the neutral game in Dragon Ball Fighters, it's an especially considerable mark against the character. And while I've personally been on the end of some incredible Zamasu tech and do believe he can be deadly in the right hands, his Key Blast has submitted him himself as one of the least attractive options in this game. Here's to hoping that he can get a buff in the upcoming balance patch. Number 3, Beerus's 2M. Beerus's journey through the fighters meta has been inspiring to say the least. Upon launch, he quickly became one of the community's first ever memes, the proverbial lowest spot on every tier list, Beerus tier. Yet silently, his diehards continued to progress and push through the meta, and with each balance patch came renewed hope for the character. In Season 3, he no longer sits at the bottom and can truly shine in the right hands. However, one thing every Beerus main can agree on is how downright terrible his 2M is. Arguments can be made that this move isn't nearly as bad as the previous two spots on this list, but allow me to explain. Despite its absurd range, Beerus' travel has absolutely no hitbox whatsoever. For those new to fighting games, this means that he can be hit out of the animation by any stray key blast or even a well-timed whiff punish attempt from the opponent. It's a shame, because medium combo starters make up the optimal routes for a majority of the cast with unskilled damage and devastating results. Many characters live and die by their 2M. Take the meteoric representation and memeability of Season 2 SSJ Goku, or as we knew him, 2M-ku. 
May he rest in peace. Hashtag buff SSJ. Hashtag 2MQ 2020. While on paper, Beerus' 2M may appear to be a solid option, he's found himself in the middle of this list because the risk versus reward of using this mechanic is hardly ever worth the effort. While providing a hitbox or even invincibility frames to key blasts would buff this character's travel time immensely, for now we'll just have to hold a moment of silence for Dragon Ball Fighter's canonically strongest character. Ensued debates on whether UI could beat a god of destruction in the comment section below. I beg of you. Number 2, Videl Spot Dodge. In all of Fighter's lifespan, there's never been a mechanic quite as malign as Videl Spot Dodge. And not because it leaves her opponent salty, no, because it's utter garbage and robs her of one of the core aspects of this game. Videl's dodge replaces her reflect mechanic, and while credit must go to Arc System Works for trying something new, more than two seasons in from her launch, the community has never found a justification for its inclusion. As your skills develop as a player, you have become more comfortable with the more nuanced defensive aspects of this game. Guard cancel, spark, and above all, reflect. This allows you to punish mashers when they leave considerable gaps in their strings and also act as a get off me tool that sets up all sorts of whiff punish attempts. However, Videl's lack of reflect leaves the opponent right in her face while also keeping her vulnerable to follow up assaults. Sure, in capable hands, many Videl mains will swear up and down that this option has hidden aspects that make her secretly OP, but as I am not, have not, and most likely will never main the character, I can only attest that the overall discourse around this character is dominantly negative. Negative. Spot dodge equals bad, and because it robs her of her core mechanic, it's made it into the number 2 spot on this list. Fingers crossed that Master Roshi's lack of super dash is not the death sentence the majority of the community believes it will be. Now before we get into our number 1 spot, let's mention some honorable contenders. Although this is a top 5, we could easily have made it a top 20 for this list, and while I can't include all of the moves that make us scratch our heads, I would like to bring attention to 3 in particular. The first is Goku Black's command grab. With infinitely bad startup frames and being incredibly telegraphable, it's no wonder mains of this character screamed this over and over again in each poll I offered. This bad boy goes full screen, sure, so all it truly needs is a buff on frame data and it could function normally. I'm not asking for 17 frames start up here, but somewhere in the 22-24 frames would be better than what we have now. And the final two are a two for one husband and wife combo. Many of you have brought it to my attention that Android 18's command grab is laughably bad with both its shallowness and startup frames. Yet both of these command grabs pale in comparison to that of my friend Krillin's down heavy. You like that? This is perhaps the most shallow and the most infuriating 2H in the game. Even correct callouts can go unpunished because this move's hitbox is the equivalent of a toddler raising their fist in protest of the almighty nap time. Quite frankly, it reeks of dirty diapers and lost potential. So before we get into the number one spot, let me know in the comments down below if I truly overlooked a garbage move in this game and who you believe deserved to be on this list. In number one, Jiren's projectile counter. Now, when making this video, it was very difficult not to give Jiren multiple spots. For the life of me, I can't believe what Arc System Works has done to this fan favorite character. Sometimes it seems downright unfair. But seeing how I make the rules and I plan on sticking by them, I can only include one character per spot on this list. So while his standing heavy's replacement with a terribly bad command grab was almost too hard to ignore, I actually had to defer this one to his projectile counter on the recommendation of one Zeta Ray Ziki. You may know Zeta Ray from his appearances on Dato Doya's channel, my channel, and a plethora of others as the best Jiren ever. Whether or not that moniker is true to form, it's hard to deny that this man has mastered this character. Ziki made an excellent point when comparing the two moves. While Jiren's 5H is as telegraphable as they come, his quarter circle back special is the only move in the game that can kill you for making the right read. That's correct, you heard me clearly. Unlike Janimba's counter, the opponent can escape freely and react to punish Jiren once they see his reversible has made contact with their projectile. If you move quick enough, you can even bait Jiren into accepting a level 3 super right to the face because of his teleport's tracking ability. Nothing is quite better than making that hard read against a Jiren enthusiast, yet nothing quite stings as much as to be on the receiving end. And that's why it's made the number one spot on this list. So please, that's all I have left to say. Buff Jiren. If you like Goku can run around unneutered and true to form, so can this big, bad, bald alien. DB Super's seminal antagonist deserves better. 
And a special shout out to Allison Burgkamp for recommending this list along with a majority of you in the community. In fact, this idea was so popular, it's hard to name you all, so I apologize if I've missed you. However, if you have a top 5 list that you think should be made for this channel, if I love the idea and go through with the video, I'll give you a shout out as well. So for now, I've been the Dr. Blue, and you are incredible. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 6k, it helps us out tremendously, and I'd just like to say, I love what I do. Thanks for being here for it. My dudes, see you in the next one. Peace.